Who would have thought it, folks? Three years on and here we are again, being told to stay at home and avoid taking any risks to protect our precious NHS. An NHS that is letting patients down once more as junior doctors walk out for a historic four-day strike while demanding an unreasonable and unrealistic 35% pay hike. I can't guarantee that no lives will be put at risk. The truth is that you have a government that does not care about your health. Ultimately, a strike by nature is designed to cause disruption. If only the doctors realised that they would get a far better system and Brits would get far superior health care if we were prepared to do a root and branch reform of the failing NHS rather than cling on to the free at the point of use philosophy in all circumstances as if it's a national religion. Many of the striking doctors talk about fleeing to Australia, which has a much better health system for patients and medics alike. That's true. It's a health system where if you're rich enough, you pay for at least part of your visit to the GP. GPs are paid much better as a result. But the government doesn't get a free pass here either. How is it possible to be pouring billions and billions more into the NHS by the year only to get an increasingly inefficient system where doctors remain underpaid and unhappy? That said, the Health Secretary, Steve Barclay, is right not to be held to ransom, given the unhinged demands and revolting threats to our lives thanks to the decisions made by the Marxist BMA Health Union to time this strike immediately after the Easter holiday for ultimate carnage and maximum damage. Timing, which had been timed uh, deliberately coming straight after Easter. The fact that the BMA junior doctors have asked their members not to tell NHS managers whether they intended to, to go on strike or not, making contingency planning more difficult. And also their refusal to agree any national exemptions. Other health unions, like the Royal College of Nurses, agreed national exemptions, particularly, for example, for cancer patients, uh, so that those patients weren't impacted. The junior doctors committee has refused used any national exemptions, and obviously that puts uh, patients at greater risk. All new doctors take the Hippocratic Oath, which states, I shall never intentionally cause harm to my patients and will have the utmost respect for human life. I recognise that the practice of medicine is a privilege which comes with considerable responsibility. I will not abuse my position. Can the junior doctors off work for three more days as the historic backlog for operations and treatments snowballs truly look themselves in the mirror tonight and say that this reckless strike adheres to those fundamental principles? I think not. Look, I have great sympathy for our doctors. I actually believe uh, they deserve a decent pay rise. But these irresponsible, renegade tactics putting our health at risk, well, they are a disgrace.